All right, fam, I'm back. Uh, as you know from my post that I, that I put up a couple days ago that, uh, yeah, I tested positive for COVID-19 at the beginning of the month. Uh, that's why I've kind of been on hiatus. But uh, I'm back, back healthy, still feeling some lingering effects, but, you know, <laughs> we're going to make it through it. And um, I just wanted to talk to you today about um, not only the fact that I had COVID, but also that I did a coloring book in four days. And I'm gonna tell you guys how. All right, let's go. What's up fam, DKG72 here, and yes, gonna be talking about how to put together a coloring book in four days. Now, in order to do that, you have to have a lot of things in the tub, basically, uh, in order to pull this off. But if you do have these things already ready, then yes, you can pull off a coloring book in four days, and I'm gonna tell you how. So, um, first, just want to thank everybody for all the well wishes and, and, and um, um, just uh, everybody that saw when they saw the Zama post responded and let me know, hey, we're glad you're okay. I'm glad I'm okay. Family's okay. Um, yeah, we, we got lucky. And, um, so, gotta praise the most high for that. And um, it's rough, so you guys, please be out there, wear your mask, uh, do your social distancing. Uh, I know it seems like a lot, but trust me, this thing it passes like that, so um, just be careful. Always be careful. Um, but um, other than that, let's get into how to create a coloring book in four days. All right, guys, so the first thing that you're going to have to do is you pretty much gotta have all your artwork ready or at least close enough that it doesn't take long to get it ready, meaning um, you may have some artwork that may need to be inked, and if you can ink it digitally or traditionally, whichever you work fastest with, that's cool, it's just you gotta knock them joints out. Most of the artwork for my book I already had ready. And the artwork I didn't have ready or needed some prep work done to it, it wasn't that much and normally it didn't take me more than maybe 15, 20 minutes per drawing to get them ready uh, for final production. You have to have the artwork already prepared, but if you do, and if you already have the black and white line art, or even if, say for instance, you've done the drawing and you put it in Photoshop, all you gotta do is remove the color artwork and just, you know, you have the black and white artwork or convert all the colors to white. So therefore then you can just do some cool layout things. And that's one of the things that I did. So a lot of the times I would just convert all of the color artwork to white, leaving the black and white, the black line, and of course just the white, white under there. So then it was still filled. So then if I wanted to put a background element or something like that, all of that was already ready for me. Make sure that you have the artwork ready. So you gotta have the artwork already ready. That's number one. You gotta be able to make sure that you make quick and easy layouts. Now, your layouts have to be super easy. When I'm talking about my, your layouts, I'm talking about your page, your final page layouts. What I did with this coloring book is I repurposed the idea I was going to use for the Jackson and Johnson coloring book that we talked about in the last video that I still plan to do, but that's gonna be further down the line. I repurposed that idea and used the artwork that I had to create um, faux comic book covers, and they came out dope. For some of the caricatures, what I would do is I would base the layouts on who the character, who the person was, and what their industry was. So if I was doing, say for instance, print, uh, it was a musical theme layout. If it was, say for instance, LeBron and AD, a basketball theme layout. And then the other layouts kind of just fell into place. Uh, each one, I had sort of a game plan for them. So you're gonna have to game plan ahead of time for the layouts. But if you do that, and if you have the layouts just right, you're in the game. And it was easy to knock those layouts out. That was actually the most time consuming thing was just making sure that getting the, the pages pages laid out correctly and once they were um, designed the way I wanted, them to, wanted to, just saving them out. So once that was done, pretty much game over at that point. So the last and final thing that you're going to have to do is that you're going to have to have an idea of the page layout. Now, with this being a coloring book, I kind of got off easy because I didn't have to tell a concise story because normally, 
when you do a book, you do a book map. And a book map basically maps out your pages, where they go, how the order is, everything so that you don't mess up. I didn't have to do that so much because this was a coloring book and I wasn't trying to tell a concise story. I was just putting a bunch of artwork together like a portfolio so that people could see and draw and color and all that good stuff. The only thing is, is that I did have one specific thing that had to be done, but it's not something that you need to plan out for. I knew that on the even numbered pages that would be the actual artwork and on the odd number pages would be a placeholder image. You only have one image per page. That way if you use a marker or something that might bleed through, it won't bleed through to the other side, thus ruining the artwork on the other side and you can't color the other side. That was kind of the thought process there and I shout out to my man DJ Hijack that pointed out uh, then another guy who did a coloring book did something similar to that. So that was really it, but once you kind of have that, and that's something that you can just do off of muscle memory, once you have that, it's easy now, just put everything into Acrobat, create a PDF booklet, make sure all the pages are correct in the PDF booklet, make sure everything lines up, you're good to go. Now, remember when I said you had to have things ready? I also had all my templates ready, so, I was doing an eight by 10 book, had the eight by 10 template with the proper bleed. Had the eight by 10 cover template already done. So all of these things were ready already for me. So all I had to do was utilize my templates and make sure that I utilize my creative skills to get this project done. And it took me a total of four days. And the reason why I took a total of four days, because I did do an original cover for the project. Um, that took a day. So that added an extra day onto the time. But other than that, the project was ready and was able to get it up on the KDP Direct and it went live on Thanksgiving, which was a shock. But <laughs> be that as it may, it went live. And uh, if you want to get it right now, it's called The Art of Forsyth Studios Coloring Book. Uh, please go ahead and get that. It's on Amazon. Uh, the link will be in the description. Go ahead and purchase that. All right, fam, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it the big thumbs up and share this all over the internet. And if you guys are new here, I'd just like to say, what's up? How you doing? Welcome to the channel. And uh, I hope you hit the subscribe button and watch all the videos that you can. Um, everybody, hit the bell icon. That'll let you know when I post up new videos so you don't have to worry about the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys ever wanna get in touch with me, you can always reach me on Twitter and Instagram at DKG72. I'm also, I also have a Facebook fan page and a TikTok, that's David Gordon 72 And if you really like what you guys are seeing on the channel, please consider going over to Patreon, Patreon slash DKG72 Comics, and supporting the channel by picking the tier. All right, guys, gotta go in, edit this video, I'll holla at y'all later. Peace.